Hello guys and welcome to a brand new and festive massive tutorial. This is a very quick one. All I'm doing is showing you one feature and how to activate it. It's quite essential for those performers who for those performers who are wondering why. Massive only has one velocity. You can't gently tap it or harshly hit it. Even though the uh, velocity information is being sent, so 120 down to 1. It makes the same noise. Why is that? Well, it's fairly simple. So, let's listen to the effect it could have. As you can see, the FL Studio different velocity information points are there. And... Let's put that on the pattern, sorry. It has no effect. Now, this is Virtual Tracer. It's a sound that I've made myself. It's not in any kind of pack. Um, but how, how do we make it so that this information is being picked up, or when we press the keyboard, it has different uh, velocities depending on how hard we hit it? Well, the answer is simple. Um, when you first start up Massive, it should look something like that. Uh, you know, you do all your different oscillators and your modulators. Then you got your envelopes. And as you know, number four is the one that's used to go through the amp, which is just the entire sound. And so you go on number four, you mess about with the envelopes, etc. Um, but how do you make it so that, you know, velocity information can be used? Well, it's very simple. You've got two things over here. VEL and KTR, or velocity and keyboard tracking. Um, this, I have no idea what, to, what it does, but this is fairly useful. Yeah, it is what it enables it. It's basically a mix of... So, doesn't really affect it much, but it does a little bit. This is, you know, I'll just, I'll just put it on that if I were you. So yeah, that, that allows you to uh, um, control the... Basically turns touch sensitivity on for Massive. Very simple way to put it. Um, down here is how you can control them. You can... You can put them onto um, different kind of bit crush. Oh. So the harder you hit that, the... Uh, no, that's keyboard tracking, that's not going to work. Let's put the velocity on reverb. That should be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Just experimenting, so yeah, that's interesting. Not only can you enable touch control, but you can also attach it to other. Oh, that is cool. I'm going to be using this more often. Mm hmm. I wonder what that would sound like. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, let's just listen to the difference in uh, before and after. So, before we have the velocity mixing. You get a very loud and not very controlled noise, it's really in your face. After it, what do we get? Get a much more pronounced sound. And in the song... New song I'm working on. I've dubbed it Portal Lesson. Reminds me of Portal. Still a work in progress. But yeah. So guys, I just want to say thank you. Watching this very quick tutorial, it's a five minute long tutorial, not bad for me. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you like the song, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to finish the song or release it. I definitely will on FK Sounds. Um, if you want to listen to more of my music, go to soundcloud.com forward slash NJD Fisher. I'll upload all my WIPs to there, work in progresses. And more tutorials will be coming soon. 
I hope you had a good Christmas, guys. Um, if you would like, then I'll be back with more tutorials. There's, there's endless things to learn. Well, that's not true, actually. You know, I'm pretty sure you could learn everything you could possibly learn about Massive and FL Studio. However, there's a quite a few. It's almost endless. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give me a comment, like, whatever. Subscribe if you really want to, to be kept up to date with any future tutorials that I may do. And apart from that, guys, I'll talk to you next time.